Okay, what's going on, YouTube world? What's How's that? everybody doing out there tonight? It is Saturday, February the 23rd, 2019. We are rolling right through the year. And uh, today, this evening, mm -hmm. of course, Boston Fan 79 V1, but we are recording this yep. for my channel, the Christopher Michaels NC YouTube channel, mm -hmm. as well as for the Fort Minor yep. Project YouTube channel. Right here on my channel as well. Yep. So both channels. Yep. And so this evening, what we're going to do mm -hmm. is we're just going to sit down with you guys, yeah. um, have a little creative discussion, mm -hmm. talk about, review uh, the movie Fighting With My Family. Yeah. Um, it was, it's the story of Paige mm -hmm. and her family, yeah. how, you know, her backstory, how she grew up, how she got into wrestling. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we saw it this afternoon. And so while it's still fresh in our head, we're going to go ahead and, like I said, go ahead and review this for you. Yeah. Um, my first overall reaction to the movie, it was a very emotional movie. It was yeah, an it emotional was. ride. Yeah. After the movie, when we got out, it left me emotionally drained. Mm -hmm. Like, I had no energy. It's like I felt like... You know, I just, I wanted to crawl in my bed and just be kind of like shut out from the world. Mm. It was a wonderful movie. The story was very well told. Yeah. Um. So, without giving away too much information. Mm -hmm. So, the movie starts off. Paige's younger brother is sitting there watching wrestling and he's got his... Paper belt. Yeah. Um, much like a lot of us used to do when we were kids. Yeah. Well, you know, paper belts and stuff like that, getting creative. Yeah. Yeah. And even still to this day, I still do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and then so then young little girl, like seven, eight year old Paige comes in. Mm -hmm. I want to watch Charmed or whatever it is she wanted to watch. Yeah. She's a fan of Charmed. So she was watching that. Yeah. She wanted to watch that. And then her parents come in because like her. Her brother's fighting with her, tries to get her in a chokehold, mm -hmm. but the chokehold was kind of messed up. Yeah. And her father comes in. No, you have to crank on it and lock it more. Yeah. It's so up how to do it. You know, then from there, um, we go ahead and we it jumps to a clip. Mm -hmm. It is, you know, Sierra, um, yeah. Paige when she was like teenager. Mm -hmm. They're you know, their family's little wrestling promotion. Yeah. They're fighting in the ring. They gather up the kids mm -hmm. that they are, tr that they were training at the time. They yeah. still do to this day. They still train kids. Yeah. Um, and so you see her take the fall and, um, you know, she's like I said, wrestling with her brothers, wrestling with other people. Mm -hmm. And then I think, what was it? She got, you know, they were they were on the phone talking about trying to get a tryout. Well, yeah. years pass, years pass, and they finally get a call a from WWE. Yeah. Both Paige and her brother go in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they get the tryout, and out of all the people, and by the way, like one guy, I swear to God, looked like Pete Dunne. With the way he was dressed. Yeah, I kind of saw, like, a little bit what it looks like to me, anyway. Seeing the tryouts and stuff kind of look like some of the NXT UK stars. So, yeah, one of them kind of looked like Pete Dunne. I don't know if it actually was. It probably would, would have been. It wasn't really Pete Dunne. Yeah. But the character looked like it. Yeah. And so, and the, <laughs> the trainer of NXT... Mm -hmm. Played by Vince Vaughn. Yeah. I want to give a little side note. A little while ago, I was mm -hmm. reading an article from USA Weekly magazine. Okay. But I was reading it from online on through Google. Nice. And the trainer of NXT, played by Vince Vaughn, is a combination of all the trainers mm -hmm. um, that she worked with. Mm -hmm. Like Tom Pritchard. Um mm -hmm. Like, Pete, uh, uh, Bill DeMont, and a couple of other people. Yeah. 
so it was like a mixture of all of them in one person. Yeah, that's pretty interesting how they did that. So then there came a point, mm -hmm. you know, Paige is trying to adapt, fit in with the girls. Mm -hmm. And which, by the way, um, also with that being said about that article I read, mm -hmm. it's it said it was about 95% at the the movie was 95% accurate. And like the girls that Paige was working with were not that nice at all. Not yeah. in real life. Um, Especially in the beginning when she started oh, yeah. with them and trying to get used to them and stuff like that, trying to open up. Yeah, because see, the, the movie portrayed the girls that Paige mm -hmm. was working with. After a while, they became really nice to her because yeah. she tried so hard to fit in. Exactly, yeah. That's and then... More so, trying to do. So, so then Paige goes and to try and fit in, she tans herself. That was awkward. Dyes her hair blonde. Yeah. Um, and then she ends up, you know, trying to fit in. Well, working so hard to trying to fit in, she wasn't focusing on herself. Mm -hmm. She wasn't focusing on fitness. So yeah. she goes home for the holidays. Yeah. And... Her, her family's just, you know, if she doesn't want to go back, she didn't have to go back. Yeah, she had a choice and the option was there. Yep. And so then Paige does go back. Mm -hmm. She gets into her own. She gets into her, you know, she trains harder. And so then she gets, you know, again... Go gets back into the NXT scene, mm -hmm. does a nice tag team match with one of you know those three girls that she was kind of like going back and forth with and trying to fit in with. Yeah. But then she, you know, they, some of the girls and some of the guys went on to having a tour of WrestleMania, mm -hmm. and then that's when Paige gets pulled to an office. Yeah. She. Is met up with Dwayne the Rock Johnson, yeah, and says, "Okay, you know what? Then tomorrow night on Raw, you're gonna, you know, go out and be the the uh, you're gonna have a match for the Divas Championship." Mm -hmm. And then as as they leave, you know the this is the one of the funny parts of the movie. Um, mm -hmm. They addressed the sex tape. They kind of made it funny, but they called... The Rock called Vince Vaughn sex tape because, mm -hmm. you know, the character that is played by... Or the character that um, plays Paige. Yeah. Uh, which, by the way, her name is Florence Pugh. P-U-G-H. I think so. Um, says, sex tape? What does that mean? Oh, mm -hmm. he'll make you famous. That, you know pointing out the trainer he'll make you famous you know so mm -hmm. and that was one thing that was a little key snippet in there that yeah. they tried to do um was to uh point out the sex tape and then mm -hmm. you know the thing is the rest was history page mm -hmm. wins um you know page wins the divas championship yeah starts saying that the wwe is her house mm -hmm. and um that's pretty much what started it from there yeah it, that's yeah. what it was the morning at 30 weekend yeah, Basically. and so it really, the story was very dynamic. It was very emotional oh, yeah. in a lot of spots. Mm -hmm. um, so you're really going to have to kind of see it for yourself. Yeah, and if you don't know like the rest of the history, it's actually cool to actually go back and rewatch that because it does like break it down from like the indie scene. And then going into NXT and the whole process of like being able to uh, be a part of WWE and how it's done and everything and the training and all that stuff. Right, right. Yeah. The damn clock. Yeah, the clocks are going off. <laughs> clocks are going crazy. Yeah. Another but yeah, hour. so what was your overall reaction about the movie? I know I gave mm -hmm. mine at the beginning of the video. Yeah. What's yours? What is your... Hmm. pinpoint accurate description of this movie what what did you think about it i thought it was really well worth it and it was really cool it's like one of those movies where you're watching it and you don't want it to end and it just kept you know 
kept you wanting to see more, basically. So, I liked how they started from all the way from the beginning. And, like I said, they talked about the process, how it's like being in NXT, the training work, and, you know, the promo skills and everything. And talking about it, um, how things are really are. So, in a way, I feel like it would be almost, in a way, inspirational. So, maybe it might actually want others to be wrestlers and stuff. So, it was like a documentary type of style. Um, like what we'd see on DVDs, but with a little bit more on it. So, The Rock did his job. But he did really good. I'm impressed. Yeah, I mean, it was a... You know... <clears throat> I think this movie is getting a lot of good reviews, but also there's going to be those people that give a bad review. Yeah, in the beginning I saw a mix, so I don't know how it's going to be now since it's already out there. Yeah. Until people actually see it, because we all we saw was just like the trailer, so that's only like, not even half of it, but like good little parts of it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you know, and it's, and it's different strokes for different folks, I mean. Yeah. You know, some people are going to like it. Some people are going to hate it, I'm sure. Yeah. But for me, my reaction, mm -hmm. it was so well put together. Yeah. So well defined mm -hmm. in detail. Yeah. Um, it was a, it was really, it was an emotional roller coaster. And yeah, it really was. The thing is, I'm going to readily admit Interesting. When Paige first came back to the WWE, mm -hmm. I remember us having a conversation on uh, Google Hangouts. Okay. And, and I said, and I quote, mm -hmm. that I really haven't missed Paige. Yeah. The stuff that she was getting into, mm -hmm. it just me it made you feel kind of upset with her even though i can see why because as a fan of wrestling as a fan of page mm -hmm. i mean i wasn't her biggest fan mm -hmm. but i was still a fan nevertheless and it Make made it you feel disappointed mm -hmm. however with that being said Especially with this movie having been made. Mm -hmm. When she came back and started wrestling again, then we had the movie. Yeah. And now knowing that as of right now, she's never going to wrestle again. I guess because I don't know if her neck and her spine are worse than Daniel Bryan's. I don't Depends. know if she'll ever make a return. Mm -hmm. I hope that the WWE keeps her around. I think they will. But I right. will say this, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I miss seeing Paige in the ring. Yeah, me too. It sucks. I mean, even if she were to be with Absolution still or be on her own. Yeah, she can do that. It makes me feel... Kind of bad hmm. for having said before that I didn't, that when she was gone, I didn't miss her. And that I really didn't care about her coming back because we had a whole, we have a whole roster full of people. Yeah, more than ever. And, you know, I mean, Charlotte, mm -hmm. Becky Lynch, just to name a few. Yeah. Just start. It. Ups. So really, so it makes you kind of feel bad. It kind of makes you eat your words. Like I said, I'm glad this movie was put out. Mm -hmm. Um, more so, especially because it kind of got released weeks after the Chronicle of Page, mm -hmm. like Page's Chronicle yeah. special on the WWE Network. Yeah. Knowing that she owns up to her mistakes. Mm hmm And everybody deserves a second chance, maybe even sometimes a third chance. 
Because really, she didn't screw up that bad, the more I look at it. Yeah, she had a sex, you know, Mm -hmm. she had stuff released on her. Mm -hmm. She did some pretty weird shit. But then again, guess what? I'm not one to judge. Mm. We all do some dark times. We all do pretty some pretty weird shit. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, the movie was great. Mm -hmm. I would say on a star rating. Um, to be fair, I would probably give it. I, an even nine. Not I would nine. give it an even nine. Not an 8.5, not an 8.75. Mm-hmm. I would give it a nine out of ten. Because, awesome. because particularly because of how it leaves you feeling. Right, and it, not a lot of movies do that lately. No. Very few. No. But not many. I mean, yeah. Because of the way it made me feel. Yeah. I'm giving it a 9, and I think a 9 is really good. Yeah. What about you? Well, with that, um, I was going to say, too, like, for non-wrestling fans that don't get wrestling, I think this is the movie to see more. Because it brings out everything with the whole process, like I said before, and how... Things are really done and everything. So. Yeah. And that's the thing. Mm-hmm. The life of a professional wrestler is not what you think it's going to be. Yeah. Until you it's, see that, then yeah, you understand a little bit more and appreciate I mean, it. Look at movies like Fighting With My Family. Mm-hmm. And I know, Jim, I know Jim Cornette does not like this movie at all. But the movie The Wrestler... I have that, yeah. I've seen that before. The life of a professional wrestler is Mm -hmm. far from glamorous. It's not the glitz. It's not the glamour. Mm -hmm. It is extremely hard. And it is extremely demanding. Very, very demanding. And it takes a special individual Mm -hmm. to hold a career in professional wrestling. Yeah, and it shows that too, like... Not everyone's going to get called up. Maybe one, maybe a few. It all depends. And then after that, it depends on where things are going and actually keep training harder. Yeah. Doing other stuff and eventually you get called up. Because you... And the other thing too, Mm -hmm. you get into certain things outside of wrestling. A lot of people have done it. Not just Mm -hmm. Paige, but Mm -hmm. a lot of people have done some, you know... Yeah. Things they're not supposed to dabble in. I mean, Jesus. I mean, Mm -hmm. for example, look at Jeff Hardy, you know. Um, Mm -hmm. I mean, we could list everybody's personal life, but we're not going to. Yeah. Just giving a few examples. Basically, nobody's perfect. But, um, (laughs) but yeah. um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is really our review. Yeah. And how we feel. And but. Brother, my rating, but, yeah. I was, I was gonna, gonna say that. Yeah, I was gonna go into that. Um, it's gonna have to be a five, really. I have to say it. A five out of ten. It was that good to me, actually. A five out of ten isn't good. Well, the highest rating I can possibly give it. <laughs> Cause I gave it a nine. No, yeah, well, it's it's up there. Mm. <laughs> Whatever the I highest think... possible rating is. Hey, I, th- I think he's confused. <laughs> I mean, maybe if we're doing a one out of five, yeah. okay. It would probably have to be the same as yours. <laughs> there you go. How about that? There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right, everybody. Mm-hmm. We hope you've enjoyed this. If it contains spoilers, we do yeah. apologize. And the movies are already out there, so couldn't really contain the cells and everything. So yeah. Yeah, I, you don't have to go by us, but you can go by your opinion and go see the movie. I recommend it. I think it's really good. It's something I would actually go out and buy mm-hmm. when it comes out in Blu-ray. Absolutely. That's what buy it on. Be. You know, when it comes out, buy it on Blu-ray. Yeah, DVD, whichever. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put in parentheses. When I upload my part of the video, 
you know, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put spoilers in it just so people can understand if they want to watch it. Great. Mm -hmm. But if they watch it and haven't seen the movie and yeah. I put on and I put on that, I have spoilers and you watch it. Don't blame me. Don't mm -hmm. blame me. Yeah, and for me, like, this is, I think, my first official movie review. I kind of tried it before in the past, but with this one, I think this is probably going to be a start of probably many. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see on that. Yep. But that's just a start. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys yep. and girls, on from the Fort Minor Project YouTube channel and the mm -hmm. Christopher Michaels NC YouTube channel. Yeah. It's been great having you guys on board tonight. Always. Um, check out the movie, Fighting With My Family. Mm -hmm. And... Know. Any other closing statement, David? Uh, other than that, subscribe to both our channels yep. and everything. Leave your comments if you have seen the movie. What did you think on it? And um, I don't know if the Dukes has seen it already, but I'm curious on his thoughts on the movie too. Yep. All right, everybody. Yep. You guys have a wonderful evening. Mm -hmm. Take care. Yep. Peace out. And we'll see you guys next time, yep. whenever that might be. See ya.